This tutorial describes how the smart Bluetooth book can be put in operation within a few minutes by means of the Safe and Carry app. It's also shown how to set with the app a switching program or to switch manually the outputs of the book. If the app isn't installed yet, please scan the QR code and download the app from the desired store. Alternatively, you can search in the Google Play Store or Apple App Store for Safe and Carry or Hugo Müller. During first start of the app, you will be asked for relevant access control. Please allow this for proper app functionality. Now you have the choice between project and remote. Projects are used to create switching programs and configurations for all our Bluetooth and NFC devices. Such data can be transferred bidirectionally between your mobile and your switching devices. This means that you can also read data from a device and use this to configure another new identical item. Remote can be used to carry out the initial operation of a MI POC and to control the POC remotely. We will use this option now. With PLUS, a new POC can be added to your app. To establish a connection, Bluetooth must be activated on your mobile device. Location services must be allowed to establish a Bluetooth connection with our POC. All MI POCs in the range of reception will be displayed. Unconfigured MI POCs are marked with two stars in the front and at the end of the type number. The MI POC can only be visible when connected to the mains. Hence, we choose two stars EA 36.22 Pro 4 two stars. In the next step, we have to define the type of application. As example, we configure the POC to be a control for roller shutters to drive a shutter up and down. We confirm shutter with OK. For security reasons, you are now asked for a four-digit PIN. Preset is 0000. To be able to distinguish and to identify the PUC later on another mobile device, you can now define a product number. Within your app, you can set additionally a product name, for example, Shutter Control Living Room. This app-specific name is the visible name of the PUC on your screen. Now the PUC can be remotely controlled by the app. To define a switching program, please click Settings and Switching Program. The app now synchronizes the existing program from the PUC to the app, where you can check and modify it by clicking the table. Block programming and single day programming is possible. We use in our example simply Monday till Sunday and the Astro function. Switching command depending on sunrise and sunset. We use the preset offset and save the program. Herewith the program will be transferred to the MI PUC. The switching program is now automatically set to be active. If you use the MI PUC with app just as remote control, please deactivate the switching program. If a MI PUC has been connected to a smartphone, the app will immediately show the remote screen and list connected MI PUCs. MI PUCs in a range of reception will be marked blue, all others are grey. To change the basic mode of operation, for example a shutter control should be changed to be a standard time switch for lighting, the MI PUC has to be reset. Confirmation with OK will reset all modified settings. In a final step, the PUC can be removed from the overview My Devices. A completely new configuration of the MI PUC is now possible. As you have seen, the Smart Bluetooth MI PUC can be set into operation with the app Safe and Carry within only a few minutes. Have fun while testing!